on the one right underneath that, you actually don't want us to solve it. We're supposed to factor it, right? No, this is equal zero. You're solving it. It says solve okay. right there, solve. And this says solve, and this says solve, and this says solve, and that's how you know how to solve. I mean, that's how you know to solve, is the instructions will say solve. So we don't have to factor any of that? Well, yeah, of course. This is going to be C, well, this is going to be C plus five, times C minus five equals zero. So C plus five equals zero. C minus five equals zero. So subtract five, subtract five, C equals negative five. Subtract five, subtract five, C equals five. So negative five and five. are going to be your answers there. Here, you subtract 32 over to the other side because you uh, when you when you're solving a quadratic equation or a higher level equation, you have to set it equal to 0 and then solve. So here you're going to subtract 32 from both sides. You're going to have s squared plus 4s minus 32 equals 0. Boom, 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 boom equals 0. S, S, negative 32. Well, um, OK, negative 1 times 32, negative 2 times 16, negative 4 times 4. Um, Wasn't that supposed to be an 8? Ah, 8, yeah. That would be perfect. Right there. Negative 4 plus 8 equals positive 4. So you'd have a minus 4 and a plus 8, and then you'd set each factor equal to 0 and blah, blah, blah. So S equals four and S equals negative eight. And then over here, you'd have 36 T squared minus four T equals zero. And I didn't need that much room. You're going to have um, a lowest common denominator for T. So let's say times one because this is going to be 4 times 9 times t times t minus 4 times t times 1 equals 0. So you're going to pull out a 4 and a t. And a 4 and a t and a 4 and a t. You're going to be left with 9t minus one equals zero. Pull it up, 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 up. And then you set each factor equal to zero. That's not a, you can't divide that out because it's got a variable in it. So four T equals zero and nine T minus one equals zero. And you solve both of those, divide by four, divide by four. So T equals zero. Add one to both sides. 9T equals one, divide by nine, divide by nine. You'll have T equals one ninth. And those will be your solutions. And then here you're going to temporarily use use substitution. Okay. 
So you end up being able to rewrite this. And you need a little more room here, but that's okay because we have room down here at the end. So this is going to be u squared minus 13u. plus 36 equals zero. And the whole reason to use u substitution is that you temporarily will have a, a quadratic equation that you can then solve by factoring or by using the quadratic formula. So we're gonna have u and u and 36 equals nine times four among other things. or negative nine times negative four and negative nine plus negative four equals negative 13. So those are gonna be our numbers. And so we're gonna have u minus nine equals zero and u minus four equals zero. And so now it's a toss up about how you solve it. Um, I can go ahead and say u, u equals x squared. So I'll have x squared minus 9 equals 0 and x squared minus 4 equals 0 so that we have this is x squared minus three squared equals zero, and x squared minus two squared equals zero. So you will have boom, 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 boom equals zero. And another boom, boom. But I'm about to scroll up. Hang on, I got lost when we were at x squared, negative nine equals zero, and then minus you got x squared negative three. Yeah. Uh, minus three squared. Nine is oh. three squared. That's okay. how we got Nine. there. So we're going to have X, X, three, three, plus, minus. And over here, x, x, 2, 2, plus, minus. So this is going to give us x plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals zero. So all together, we're going to get the, the answers. X equals negative three. X equals positive three. X equals negative two. And X equals positive two. So you're going to have four answers there. And why? because this is really a quartic high degree four. A degree four equation is guaranteed to have four solutions. And there they be. Professor, may I ask a question? Sure. Um, on number two, number can we two. also put, can our answer also be that like C equals plus or minus five, yes. or in the answer box, do we have to put negative five comma five? No, you can also do that, or okay. plus minus five. Okay, very good, thanks. And here, down here, you could, I suppose, if my math lab will take it, and I certainly would mark it right, 
plus minus three comma plus minus two. Or the other way around, plus minus two plus minus three. So that would be acceptable too. Either way, I would be very happy with it. Okay, come on, more questions. What about that? Let's do that. Square root of negative nine. Oh, I want to move over here. The square root of negative nine times the square root of negative 49. That's the square root of negative one times positive nine times the square root of negative one times 49. That's the square root of negative one times the square root of nine times the square root of negative one times the square root of 49 times i times three times i times uh, the square root of 49 is seven. So we're gonna have i times, well, actually I squared. I squared, I times I is I squared, times 21, and I squared is negative one. So that'll be negative 21, is your answer. But these are very, very easy to get wrong. The problem is you can't, maybe you could, since these are perfect squares, it's conceivable you could put this in your calculator and get that answer. but I don't know. You try, but don't depend on it. Here. Here you're gonna get complex conjugate solutions to this equation. Okay, um, you can pull out a common factor here, two times x squared plus seven equals zero. And here, since there is no variable there, you can divide out your two. Because you don't need it, you're solving for x. And so you'll have x squared plus seven equals zero, subtract seven from both sides. So x squared equals negative seven. You have no choice but to use the square root method here. Square root of x squared equals plus or minus the square root of negative x, seven. So that x equals plus or minus the square root of negative one times seven, which will be x equals plus or minus. You don't really need to go to these extra steps if you don't have to. So x equals plus or minus i times
times the square root of seven. And now it all depends on what this, on what the instructions say over here. Using radicals as needed, express complex numbers in terms of I, use a comma to separate answers. Okay. Well, I would vote for plus or minus. I would vote for this being your answer then. You don't have to put it in A plus B I form because it doesn't say that you have to. However, if you want to be really careful and go ahead and separate with commas, going to have negative I times the square root of seven comma I uh, negative no blah blah I times the square root of seven, which is the easiest way to write these. Remember that a plus b i form, that would make these zero minus the square root of seven times i, comma, zero plus the square root of seven times I. Making very careful to not put the I underneath the square root sign. Some of the instructions say to answer with A plus B I form, some of them don't. So be sure to read these instructions that are in blue underneath the blue answer box or over to the side of it. Okay, we have gone over, but I'll sit here as long as needed. I only have one more question. Um, and the one where it's like S equals nine divided by, or yeah, it's like S or Z equals nine divided by S or Z equals something. I think it's back up, or maybe not. I thought, I thought that was one of the rational equations. Yeah. I don't know which one it is though. Mm. But I'm looking. Ah, this. Like that. Yeah. That's a rational equation, so you're going to multiply every term by the LCM. Now, the LCM is just Z, because you've only got one fraction. You've only got one denominator. So your LCM is going to be Z. And so, what you're going to do is... You're going to have Z plus 9 over Z equals negative 10. And you're going to multiply by Z. So times Z times Z times Z so that this will cancel out the z's. So you have z squared plus 
9 equals negative 10 z. So let's go ahead and add 10 z to both sides. Okay, so we'll have z squared plus 10 z equals nine, no, not equals nine, plus nine. So Z and C plus nine, plus one. And then you're going to solve each of these for zero. That is for Z, but you're going to set them equal to zero. Okay, minus nine, minus nine, Z equals negative nine. Minus one, minus one, C equals negative one. So now, something I didn't do was set, but it was kind of obvious, set the denominator equal to zero and solve for Z to find out what Z cannot be allowed to equal. Well, I mean, there's just Z. Of course, it's not gonna equal zero, but neither of these numbers is zero, so I can go with them. So the solutions are negative nine, comma, negative one. Thank you, it just looked different, so it threw me off. It does, it does, and a lot of people miss it. They'll get, they'll get these right, which are much harder, and then, not really know how to handle that. So it's good to ask. More questions? I hear silence, but we've been here for three hours. I bet people are really tired. This was a really good review, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for taking the time to go through all that. I really appreciate it. Well, I'm glad. I was, like, I was having so much anxiety about this test because when the snowstorm happened, my internet went out. And when the internet went out, my modem went out. And so I had to wait for AT&T to send me a modem that I just got yesterday. So I haven't even taken the practice exam, but well, I'm fixing you, to. You can do that now. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. just remember, thank you. email me. Right, yes, yeah, uh, send me and ask my instructor. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Anybody else, come on. I don't have any pressing social engagements. Poor me. If you don't ask me a question, I'll, I'll have to vacuum my floor. That's the next thing I'm going to do.